you're on the clock and the scam begins. Yes. And I've seen guys being scammed two trips, three trips, multi years in a row by the same girl. Mm. And just don't think that you're going to come out here and survive. Mm -hmm. You're not. And you, you've learned uh, through the School of Hard Knocks, as we say, and over a year period that uh, you've been living in, in, in Kiev, right? Yeah. So you have the luxury of time. Most guys don't have the luxury of time. They come here for two weeks. Mm. So any pearls of wisdom with that frame reference, that time frame reference? You come here knowing nothing. I can tell you now, it's taken me around about seven to eight months to get comfortable enough to be able to deal with everyday dealings with Ukrainian people. Um, I speak very little Russian, um, but that is not an issue. Most people here have a very limited amount of English. You will find quite a few people who have a good level. So communication is not the problem. It's the mental attitude that you bring, you need to make sure it's the right one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good point. The, the mindset is totally different. Yes. The culture is totally different. Yeah. Of course, the language is totally different. And we come from our own Western bubble into a uh, much yeah. different bubble or fish tank, right? Get ready for that bubble to be burst. Yeah, yeah. And there's so many, would you say there's like how many obstacles, Alvin, would you say there are to a Western man coming here and being successful? When I say successful, meeting somebody, falling in love and getting married. Like approximately how many obstacles on this journey can he expect to hit? <sighs> One, two, three, um, ten, twenty? I, I, I don't call them obstacles. They're challenges. Yep. An obstacle is something that you've got no hope of getting over or around. Challenges you can meet and tackle and fix. Um, I face challenges every day, but that's part of the allure of why I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, you, you like the chase, yeah, uh, the, the journey. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Ukraine is a really nice country. It's full of some really lovely people. Mm -hmm. Kiev itself is fine. Culturally, it's a great place. You just have to adopt the attitude that you're in another country. Things aren't the same. So, Alvin, how many uh, obstacles or challenges, as you call them, would you say, are in Ukraine, you know, that a guy needs to work his way around, overcome to be successful here? Oh, there's, there's a lot of obstacles. There's plenty of those to be um, overcome. Mm -hmm. um, again, but it gets down to your, your attitude that you bring here. Right. Um, Are you going to be successful? Can you do it? Or you can accept failure? Exactly. Right. And right. it gets down to when you get off the plane and you walk through customs, you need to be thinking, yeah, well, this is an adventure. Mm -hmm. I'm here to learn something. Yeah. If you do that, you'll be fine. Um, it's the people who come here and expect, well, the first one that I meet, I'm going to take home. Mm -hmm. They go home by themselves. Or maybe do you think do you find a lot of Western men that think, oh, I'm going to come here. Most of these women are looking to get out of Ukraine, latch on to any uh, foreign man uh, because it's impoverished here. They have such a horrible life. Is that the right attitude or the wrong attitude? That's totally the wrong attitude. Totally wrong. Most uh, women don't want to leave Ukraine. In fact, the good that, ones. If if what they think that that's the way you look at them, mm -hmm. they will tell you to march very very quickly. The good girls. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the, the bad girls, the ones with the hidden agenda, well, they'll latch on. <laughs> and they'll go back with you to home, and they'll get their green card, and they'll be paka paka, right? And, and those are the ones you want to avoid. Yeah, well, there was very, very quick shit, shit, shit test that they give you, and that is exactly that. If you start putting money on the table, and they pick it up, you know damn well you're in trouble. Yeah, you got to be careful with that, right? Keep it, keep it frugal at the beginning. Don't lavish them at the beginning, right? Test the waters. They will actually respect you much more mm -hmm. if you show a little bit of constraint mm -hmm. and they then work out very quickly that you are there to learn about them yeah. and not take from them. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, because the truth be told, Ukrainian men, uh, they're very frugal and they spend money very frugally on the ladies. Yes. Right? 
Would you agree that even Ukrainian man, when he takes a lady out for dinner, is he expecting something as payback from dinner, in your experience? Yep. What's he expecting? No, he's expecting to hit home runs every time. That's Ukrainian men. So, guys, we're talking about this because just so you understand what's normal in Slavic culture from their men. And so there's many takeaway lessons from this point. Uh, we're not suggesting you try to hit a home run after the first date because that's not the kind of girl you're looking for anyway. Uh, so hopefully that's not the kind of girl you're dating. Um, but that's what's expected from the Ukrainian men when they take a Ukrainian girl out for dinner. Um, and just so you're not so naive when you come here. But I think the main point I want to take home in on this, and great to get your feedback on this, Elvin, is, um, you know, uh, a lot of guys come here and they see one girl from one of these sites five times, ten times, fifteen times, two trips or yeah. more, and they get no nookie at all. Like they don't even get a kiss in or like a decent other than a... Uh, dedushka kiss, you know. Uh, Actually, that's a really, really good point because lack of any physical intimacy, even holding hands, is a really good sign. If they don't want to hold your hand within the first couple of meetings, I'd be really starting to think, do I really need to be here? Yeah, are, are they really into me? If yeah. they won't even hold my hand after five dates? Yeah. Mm. That's a big litmus test for yeah. a girl, right? I mean, she'll, uh, a lot of girls on these sites will, you know, with the translator, uh, that's the biggest scam, boots on the ground, right? Yeah. The translator scam. She's yeah. on the clock, 20 bucks an hour. She gets paid typically 25% of that, 20 bucks an hour. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and that's a good paycheck for her. That's a great hourly rate, double, triple, uh, or more, what she's already used to making you know, in her vocation here in Ukraine, right? Even though she doesn't ask for gifts, guys a lot of time don't get that, that she's getting paid just to spend time with you, even though she doesn't ask for gifts. And quite often the translator will rock up without you knowing about it. Mm -hmm. Will which? Say without it. you knowing. Mm -hmm. So you'll go to meet your lady and all of a sudden there's somebody else there. And who's this? Uh -huh. It's the translator that I need because I can't speak very good English. Right. And you're on the clock. In perfect English. Yeah. Yeah. And you're on the clock and the scam begins. Yes. And I've seen guys being scammed two trips, three trips, multi years in a row by the same girl. Mm -hmm. And she won't even take his hand. You know, no kissing, no physical intimacy whatsoever. Yeah. And that's why I say to guys, you know, you got to trust your gut mm -hmm. if you feel this is real. Because that, that's one of the biggest things here is the Western man needs to ask himself if he feels it's a real relationship, if she, she's really into him. Yes. Um, one of the things that I learned very early on is that you can expect nothing. You can give everything. And at the end of the day, you walk away with just um, a shattered dream. Mm -hmm. it really is. Um, I first come out here, what, five years ago, and been out two or three times since. And each time I went away, more determined to come back the next time and make it work. Well, it took a little bit of time to get through to myself that. No, it's not going to work. Yes, this is a scam, and it's time for me to look elsewhere. So, mm -hmm. don't be too hard on yourself, but be aware. You have to be very aware of you first. Good tip. Good advice. Yeah. If you if you don't know what you want, don't come. Because you're just asking for trouble. <laughs>